Completing the lineup is Mirza Hossein from Bangladesh in lane eight. The first six to qualify for the second round of the 400 meters and Craig Purdy, who's about the fifth fastest in this field, so he's going to have to go somewhere near his best to make sure that he gets into the second round and he's off to a very good start running in the middle of the track and watch for Simon Kipkin boy the big Kenyan down on the inside and you can see those big legs of his the stride starting to lengthen as he comes to the 200 meter mark it's Kipkin boy leading from the man inside of him the Australian and the New Zealander running well he's probably in about fourth place at the moment Kipkin boy 21.7 through 200 he's gone quick Craig Purdy finishes well watch him this is an event dominated by the Africans and the West Indian runners here they're the fastest seven in the Commonwealth at the moment. But look at Craig Purdy. He's holding fourth place solidly. Kipkin Boy chopping down a gear. Goes into the tape. He's safely through, as is the man in lane number seven, Trevor Graham from Jamaica. And coming home there in fourth place was Craig Purdy of New Zealand. So he's safely through to the second round. But the favourite for the gold medal, Simon Kipkin Boy of Kenya, winning that. Very even as they cut out the first 100 metres, but the action should be coming from on the outer side of the track from Samson Couture and Philip Brown, the English winner. It's the Kenyan at the 200 metre mark and a good run coming from the Jamaican Devon Morris in the middle of the track in lane four. Devon Morris, 22 flat through the 200. He's running the best at the moment, I'd say, but Grant Gilbert running very well. Coming off that final bend with just over 100 metres and a tailwind for the last section of this race. This is Samson Couture, 45.2 is his best the big tall striding Kenyan coming down in lane number seven he'll comfortably go through to the second round as will Devon Morris third place is Philip Brown and also comfortably through is the New Zealander Grant Gilbert who just chopped it down once he realized he was comfortably inside the first six in fact only one missed out from that heat but the winner that six is Fiaz Mohammed from Pakistan seven Kamara Interaki from Botswana and Todd Bennett the consistent Englishman running in lane number eight Bennett who finished fifth in this event in 1982 in Brisbane now uh, Darren Dale the New Zealander former New Zealand junior record holder has a best time of 46.98 the first six to qualify there's only seven in the field so only one will get left behind but there's some very fast men in this field Douglas and two Burnett and three and number five one three there Howard Burnett from Jamaica the Jamaicans very strong in this event as they go through the 200 meter mark and it looks as if it could well be in the middle of the track of Burnett and Elvin Daniel Burnett was very fast through the 200, 22-4. He was the quickest, ran quick up that back straight, got his position. Now he can control the race. Howard Burnett in control of this race and a good finish coming here from Todd Bennett. He's going to make sure that he's comfortably through to the next round. And inside of him, Kamera Inekeri in from Botswana coming home in third place. All right, Burnett of Jamaica. Darren Clark, one of the world's leading 400 meter runners over the last six years and one Anton Skerritt Canada's number one in lane number two Joseph Arden from Seychelles and three Lamin Maracon from the Gambia and four Dwayne Johnson from Ghana and five Felix Sandy from Sierra Leone and six Siebert Strawn in lane number seven and Eugene Matthews from Trinidad in lane number eight this is a very big meeting for Darren Clark who was really beaten in a surprise result in this final at Edinburgh four years ago he never seems to be able to pull off one of the big titles. There he is, running in lane number one. He's been plagued with a lot of injuries throughout his career. But when he is injury-free, he's without doubt one of the best 400-meter runners in the world. He only has to finish in the first six here to be comfortably through to the second round. But he's running well, coming off that uh, top bend and further out in the middle of the track. In lane number seven is Siebert Strawn from Barbados. But it's all Darren Clark as they come down. And just inside of him inside of uh, Strawn is the Guyanese runner who's coming through with a good finish that's uh, Dwayne Johnson but it's uh, Darren Clark and 46.64 nothing flash about the time he's done under 45 seconds when he's at his best but he looked good for his first run here at the Commonwealth Games in 1990 he's being left behind a little here some really fast men in this field Burnett the Jamaican in lane number four and the Kenyan Samson Couture in five and the Australian Robert Stone also a very good 200 meter runner well, Robert Stone's gone out very quickly. Has he got the strength to be able to hang on to it? Great run coming from the Canyon, Kitur. It's uh, Samson Kitur at the moment, who has a best time of 45.20. On the inside of him is Burnett and the Australian Robert Stone. Those three look comfortable as Kitur straightens up for the run home. Sandy down on the inside and Samson Kitur comfortably through to the semi-finals. Wins this first heat of the second round. Stone is in second place. Burnett third and fourth place going to Felix Sandy, who had that shaky start. But he steadied himself and nailed down the fourth spot from this, the first heat of the second round. But that's the man that... Also in this field is Adem from the Seychelles in lane number one. 
Matthews from Trinidad in two. Interreki from Botswana in three. McDonald from England in five. McLean from Canada in six. Douglas from Bermuda in seven. Hussein from Bangladesh in eight. And Darren Dale in lane nine. The first four go through to the semi-finals along with the two fastest losers from these four second round heats. Darren Clark running in lane number four, but outside of him, Troy Douglas of Bermuda off to a very good start. And the New Zealander on the outside, Darren Dale, finding it hard to stay with this pace. And this is Wayne McDonald, and alongside of him in the blue there is Troy Douglas of Bermuda. It's a very even field at the 200 metre mark. And Darren Dale has run very hard on the outside lane, no one to pace off. He may die in the straight now. But it's Darren Clark coming round on the inside down there in lane number four. And it's Darren Clark alongside of him in lane number five is Wayne McDonald, the 19-year-old Englishman, making his debut for England today. And Darren Dale, look at that coming down the outside, but it's a bit too late. It's the other Darren that wins it, Darren Clark of Australia. Did it easily in 46.68, and he was virtually jogging over the last 10 metres. He could well go a good second and a half, maybe even two seconds faster than that on that sort of form. And lane number one is Stone from Australia. Grant Gilbert, the New Zealander, is in two. Garner in three. Couture from Kenya in four. Bennett in five. Clark, the Australian, in six. Kipkin Boy in seven. Morris in eight. And Wanzia, the Kenyan, in lane number eight. And it's Darren Clark, the first to show out. Grant Gilbert running well down on the inside. The three Australians and the three Kenyans as they come to the 200 metre mark. The action should be on the outer lanes of the track. And the Kenyans starting to make their move now. Kipkin Boy takes off with just under 200 metres of the race to go. But tracking him every stride is Darren Clark. This is going to be a super lineup as they come off the bend here. Who will run the best bend? Will it be Clark or will it be Kipkin Boy? As they line up for the run home, it's Darren Clark. Will he get his gold medal at last? Kipkin Boy flying out the Australian, but he's got the measure of the Kenyans. It's Darren Clark gold. Kenya get the silver and the bronze. But Darren Clark, for so long he's been trying for this gold medal. Second in 1986. Fourth at the Olympic Games. The 24-year-old has shrugged off the problems of injuries. And at last, he's got himself a gold medal. A time of 44.60. World-class time for the 24-year-old Sydney Sider and a gold medal as well. Well, so often in the past, Darren Clark has been accused of a man that can handle the big time. He went hard around the first bend, and uh, Kipkin Boy tried to put it on him around the top end, and they came into the straight. It was Darren Clark, and now it came down to strength and conditioning and i should add form and look at the form of darren clark he keeps himself together nicely and kipkin boy on the outside gets a little ragged he's tired he's exhausted and look at the other kenyan samson kitur on the inside he's tired also a beautiful victory for K darren clark now you can call him a winner he's a gold medalist and a commonwealth games record holder Second